monster. And I've known he's a monster for years. Mm -hmm. I waited a long time to see if he would grow a conscience. And the more drugs he pumps down his wife's throat to keep her in the I, I, I know, girl. <laughs> see, hardly nobody knows. But I say, it, man, yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She been on them for a long time and you keep her that way. So it's starting to get obvious that Solange knows probably isn't Jay-Z's biggest fan because she just teamed up with one of his ops to expose him and spill some juicy tea on him. In case y'all missed it, Solange and Jay-Z haven't exactly been on good terms in like forever. But it looks like she is now actively trying to take him down by teaming up with Cat Williams to expose him. And listen, between Cat and Solange, they got a lot of dirt on Jay-Z because they both accused him of allegedly keeping Beyonce drugged up. And get this, they're claiming that he is not doing this alone because he has a good friend, Diddy, helping him do it. Diddy has faced a lot of accusations from multiple women, including Cassie, of allegedly drugging them up. So trust me when I say that this situation is about to get messy. But um, is Solange really pushing Beyonce to divorce Jay-Z? Sean Carter is worse. Uh -oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. This pussy been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 fucking years. All right, y'all, come on in the room, cause it's tea time. These insane things that are going on, we have to break down. Now, y'all know how Cat Williams has been on a roll since 2024 started, and he's been exposing celebs. Well, it looks like he's about to take something to bigger and more insane levels that will blow your mind. Cat started out slow and low by exposing some small, details like how Steve Harvey has been stealing his jokes and Kevin Hart being an industry plant and all that stuff. But now he is moving on to some serious stuff like how Diddy has allegedly been helping Jay-Z to drug Beyonce to keep her under his control. The crazy thing is that Kat is not the only person saying this because Beyonce's sister Solange has allegedly been saying the same thing and trying to bring to our attention how Jay-Z has been allegedly keeping her sister on drugs to control her. But Kat is now coming up with more more information that he claims will prove that Jay-Z was not acting alone because Diddy allegedly had one or two things to do with it, all allegedly. For years, whispers have been circulating about how Solange is not exactly Jay-Z's number one fan and she kept proving it day in and day out. The streets were filled with rumors hinting that she wasn't thrilled about Beyonce's relationship and marriage to Jay-Z. The speculations were everywhere, suggesting that she didn't like him and leaving everyone to scratch their heads about what exactly she had against her billionaire brother-in-law. But then the recent allegations against Jay-Z hit like a ton of bricks, claiming that he was using drugs to manipulate Beyonce. Suddenly Solange's view of him as an op didn't seem all that surprising. It kind of made sense with all the weird gossip floating around about their marriage and despite being hailed as the Hollywood power couple, Jay-Z and Beyonce have had their fair share of issues and that nothing was exactly perfect. Their combined fortune of nearly two billion dollars, the lavish mansion, and the respect of their peers didn't paint the complete picture because allegedly a lot was happening behind the scenes that would make your jaw drop. Now if you've been in the loop regarding the ups and downs of Beyonce and Jay-Z's love saga then buckle up because it's been one wild roller coaster ride filled with so much drama. Their relationship consistently faced scrutiny especially for its unconventional and slightly weird beginnings. Take for example their first encounter was when Beyonce was just a teenager and Jay-Z was a grown man in his 30s but taking a look back on those early days, Beyonce spilled the tea in an interview saying, I was 18 when we first met, 19 when we started dating. There was no rush, no one expected me to run off and get married. They officially started dating when Beyonce was 19 and Jay-Z was 31, which is a substantial age gap that had fans buzzing, which even some tossed around speculations of Beyonce being groomed by Jay-Z. But according to Kat, he believes that Beyonce and Jay-Z actually started way before she turned legal. He pointed out how Beyonce is very inconsistent with the timing of when she and Jay-Z first got together. In their interview, she claimed that she was 19 when they started dating, but in another video, she said she was 20 when they first started dating. You taught me so many things. I was 20 years old when we first started dating. You taught me how to be a woman. You taught me how to live. You taught me how to be a friend. Um, you've given me so much in life, and this is it's not enough. It's not enough I can give you. I just want you to be happy. 
Well, Kat claimed that the reason the dates don't seem to add up is that she's hiding something and it's harder to get your story straight after so many years. And that's the reason the dates seem to keep changing. Besides the age difference, the power play and the dynamics between these two had people concerned right from the get-go. But don't get me wrong, Beyonce was already a star at the time and she was already on track to make a name for herself and she started dating Jay-Z. But at the time, Jay-Z was an industry heavyweight who had way more influence and clout than she did back then. And the mix of their age age gap and power dynamics has people always wondering and feeling a type of way about their relationship, wondering if things were as good as they looked on the surface. But to be fair, as time went on, the table sort of turned in the relationship and things became a little bit more balanced because Beyonce skyrocketed to become Hollywood's ultimate queen bee. And she's not just a big deal, she's the big deal, holding the record for the most Grammy wins ever. Even with her mega success, many fans keep giving the side eye glances at her marriage putting Jay-Z in the hot seat. He faced criticism with people throwing around labels like Predator. Now let's fast forward to the recent bombshells about Jay-Z allegedly using drugs and substances to control Beyonce. Suddenly, these side-eye glances and critical labels don't seem so far out there from what it looks like. Now Solange, who already had her reservations about Jay-Z, probably felt vindicated in the whole thing because some people were starting to look at her like a hater who was hating on her big sister's successful marriage with one of the big rappers of all time. In fact, some people were talking about how Solange was probably jealous because Beyonce was in a steady relationship with three kids and Solange had a baby daddy that she barely got along with. But with Jay-Z being exposed, Solange is now vindicated because it looks like she had a solid reason to not like her brother-in-law. I mean, the multiple cheating allegations were probably enough for her to not like him, but you see what I mean. Then there's also the fact that Jay-Z was Beyonce's first real relationship. She has opened up about how she didn't have the typical childhood or teenage years because she was so focused on her career. She said, my teenage years were about the grind. My energy went into Destiny's Child and the dream of us getting a record deal and becoming musicians. If something wasn't helping me reach my goal, I decided to invest no time in it. I didn't feel like I had to time to kiki or hang out. I sacrificed a lot of things that ran from any possible distraction. Now, Beyonce was not just 12 years younger than Jay-Z, but she was also inexperienced when it came to relationships because, as she said, she spent her time working and didn't have much time to date in her teens, which made the situation even sketchier. As time passed, the conversation shifted from whether or not she was groomed to whether or not Beyonce felt trapped in the marriage, especially now that she's older and has way more experience than when she was 19, or however old she was when they started dating. But as it turns out, the rumors weren't just rumors because some insiders spilled some tea, claiming that Beyonce wasn't just feeling trapped but she was genuinely stuck. According to several insiders, Jay-Z was allegedly obsessed with manipulating her, and he held the controls tight, controlling every single aspect of her life and leaving her with no space to live on her own terms. Recently, more and more people have started to speak out, shedding light on Jay-Z's obsessive control. And one interesting expose came from a man who claimed to be Beyonce's former bodyguard. It's clear as day that this man probably isn't Beyonce's biggest fan, because he had a lot to spill about the ins and outs of Beyonce's relationship with Jay-Z. He dove right in, confirming suspicions that their marriage was more of a business deal than a love story. Your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to, be, be, to become billionaires. There's no love there. Well, his revelation might have been jaw-dropping, but it didn't exactly send shockwaves for the fandoms. That tea has been brewing for ages about Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship being kind of weird right from the get-go. But for years, the grapevine was saying that their marriage wasn't exactly a fairy tale based on true love. Y'all, the fans have been trying to convince themselves for years that Beyonce and Jay-Z are drunk in love, but that just hasn't managed to stick thus far because many fans don't even buy it. Word on the street is that the marriage wasn't exactly a classic love story, but a tragic chess move to get to the title of Hollywood's number one power couple. Now, to be fair, they kind of won that because it's impossible to find a bigger power couple in Hollywood than these two. And it was only a matter of time before fans started to think that the marriage was more about PR and clout than actual true love. Well, they've got their eyes on the ball, which is why their marriage was unshaken even after he cheated on her. I mean, have y'all wondered how they managed to keep this cheating pro until they addressed it in 
their music? Exactly. But hold on to your butts because there's an extra scoop to this roller coaster narrative. According to the bodyguard who spilled the tea, there's a darker twist to this marriage story. Brace yourselves because he unleashed a bombshell, claiming that Beyonce isn't just sticking around Jay-Z because she wants to. No, he's got her on a tight leash, pulling the strings and leaving her with no room to choose otherwise. The drama just turned up a notch and we're not even at the climax yet. See, probably nobody knows, but I'll say it, man. Yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She been on them for a long time and you keep her that way. This talkative bodyguard also unleashed a bombshell about this time that the spotlight was squarely on Jay-Z. He spilled tea suggesting that Jay-Z might have been the one to introduce Beyonce to the world of drugs. Now before you start wondering what on earth this is about, remember that Jay-Z hasn't exactly been low key about his previous life as a drug dealer. So the idea that he could use drugs to pull some puppet strings on Beyonce,